People get this essentially have a death sentence. If I could discover a new drug, it would help millions of people. The big quest to me was to try find something to treat ALS. This is probably one of the worst diseases known. It's the structure of scientific revolutions. Paul's a risk taker. I've seen the puzzle pieces go down. I think he's a winner. The toxic puzzle has many pieces. One by one, they've fallen into place. Science has opened up doors to a future which is both threatening and yet promising. This is like a slow toxin and it's a silent killer in a sense because we don't know that it's in the water that we're drinking, we don't know it's in the food that we're eating, but we now know that it can cause these uh, neurodegenerative conditions like Alzheimer's disease. By, for people who reach the age of 85, there's a 50-50 chance they're going to have Alzheimer's disease. And Alzheimer's disease is taking millions of people and it's costing trillions of dollars. Maybe soon, the scientists will lay down the missing piece. Are we closer to a cure? Um, I would say, I don't want to use the word cure, but I think we're close to uh, prevention. And that's better than a cure. Well, when you're this sick, there is never too much hope. Like, you know, if you told me to lick a tree, I probably would. Yeah, I put all my hope in Paul. Because he's the only one that's ever given me, like, any, like, inch of hope.